it, it is a pleasure to be here this morning, and, and aren't you really excited to hear about the automotive industry from a contractor? Right? Um, really, my, my role here today is, is, is not in uh, my, my paying job, but uh, as the chair of the SUS Japan Summit. And I want to specifically talk about the automotive industry and, and more from a macro level and specifically Mississippi. And, and you've heard from the two great companies who lead that charge in the state but maybe a little bit different perspective from a macro level and then tell you what that means, in my opinion, to the SUS Japan Summit that we're gonna have here in November. So if we look and think about what the automotive industry meant in Mississippi at the turn of the century, for all intents and purposes, it was non-existent. There was no automotive sector in the state of Mississippi. But starting in 2003 with Nissan, and then again in 2011 when Toyota came into production, we've gone from zero to a capacity of about 600,000 units in a matter of 10 years. And, and when you think about that, especially relative to our, some of our sister state competition, we kind of came late to the game, but we've made tremendous progress in the amount of time we have been in the game. And it's because of Nissan and Toyota and then all the other suppliers, the tiered suppliers that follow them when they build the, the facilities that they built here in the state. So you've heard from Dan, we know about the great things that Nissan has done in the state. They came to Canton and they have made a tremendous impact, not, on, not only on Canton, but on the entire state. And then we heard from Doug who has come to Blue Springs and made a tremendous impact on Blue Springs and the entire state. And both of these organizations, um, specifically in Mississippi, not only have they made a big impact on our state, but they have made a big impact in their respective organizations. So when you think about what that means to our state as we're trying to determine where we wanna go and how the automotive sector is gonna really be a part of the state economy in the future, you can see that we're really well positioned. I mean, geographically, we're very well positioned to be right in the middle of what's known as the Southern Automotive Corridor. And that's a good place to be. The impact that our two primary leaders in Nissan and Toyota have made on the state is tremendous. And we all know about the tangible impact. We know about the jobs. We know about the three billion in investment. We, we see all that. But what is equally as important, in my opinion, certainly not as well seen, is the credibility that these preeminent organizations have given the state by coming to the state of Mississippi. The commitment they've made has been tremendous as we continue to try to grow our state and, and, and grow in the automotive sector and specifically grow with, with future companies that may be looking to come here. It's a big deal. It's a big deal when companies like this commit to the state. And it really validates what we all know and we've said for a long time as Mississippians, we have a great quality of life, we have a quality workforce, we're very pro-business, very pro-growth environment, but we can say that all day long, but when, when you see companies of this caliber come to the state, it validates it and it means a tremendous amount when we're out there trying to recruit other businesses to come to our great state. But in addition to Toyota and Nissan, you might be surprised to find that there are more than 30 Japanese parent companies that are in the state of Mississippi. And through those 30 with joint ventures and subsidiaries, we have over 50 facilities that are located in our state. And they account for employing 9,000 Mississippians. And that's about a third of all the jobs created by foreign owned entities in the state of Mississippi. So our Japanese colleagues and Japanese counterparts and Japanese businesses have made a really big impact on the state of Mississippi. And so I think it's safe to say that Mississippi has found some really great partners in Nissan and Toyota and other Japanese companies. And I think it's safe to say that Mississippi has been a good partner to them. 
So the real question then is how do we continue to grow that relationship and nurture that relationship and have even bigger and better things come to the state of Mississippi to continue to build on the platform that we've started. And that's where the Seuss Japan Summit comes into play. This November, we have a really unique and wonderful opportunity to do just that. And what, what the Seuss Japan Summit is, Seuss stands for Southeastern United States, Japan, and it's, it's an, a joint meeting between what they call the Southeastern United States Japan Association, which is US-based, and the Japan-US Southeast Association, which is Japan-based, and they come together every year to talk about how can we further economic development in our regions? What can we do better? And it's focused on understanding and trade and investment and really friendship. And it's all about developing relationships in a way that makes it better for both regions. So in November, we're going to have over 200 executives uh, coming to the state. Uh, half of those are from Japan. We're talking about CEOs, investors who are looking for places to invest in the southeastern United States. And what's unique and great about this opportunity, this is the 36th annual meeting. It happens every year. But this is the first time that it's going to be located in the state of Mississippi. The theme for our event this year is success through harmony, tradition, and innovation. Just think about that for a minute. That's, that's, that's very appropriate. And it applies not only to our, our Japanese colleagues and friends, but also to our companies and our businesses here in the southeast. But we're going to focus on the successes that we've had in the southeast from our Japanese colleagues and our Japanese companies, specifically companies like Nissan and like Toyota. So the relationships that we're talking about that will be strengthened in Biloxi, I think, are, will position us uh, for a lot of future growth. And not only the existing relationships, but new relationships that will be formed during this event. My co-chair, there are two private sector chairs, uh, one from Japan and one from Mississippi. Uh, my co-chair is Asatoshi Nishida, who is the chairman of Toshiba. And he's coming actually to Mississippi in uh, two or three weeks to continue our preparations for this event. He's very excited about coming to Mississippi. And he's very excited about having Toshiba uh, very involved in this event as well. And we're excited about that, too. This is our website. I would welcome you to uh, get online and look at this. It's www.seusjapan2013, S-E-U-S-J-A-P-A-N. Not to be confused with S-U-E-S, -E Japan. That has a completely different meaning. Um, we, we plan to showcase the state of Mississippi. And we're going to do things like talk about Mississippi from a cultural standpoint. In fact, when we were in Tokyo in September, we announced that Mississippi is the birthplace of the blues, and we handed out blues CDs to all our Japanese colleagues, and that was very well received, and they're excited about coming here. Part of our mission is to really show them that this is a place where they want their people to be, where they want their people to live and have a high quality of life, but what, where they can also be successful as a business. So if you're interested in the global economy, if you're interested in future opportunities with Japanese companies, there'll be other southeastern companies that will be coming to Mississippi as well. If, as a business leader, if that's a, if that's a opportunity that you want to be involved in and be involved with, I welcome you to calendar this event right now and come join us uh, November the 17th through the 19th. It is at the Beau Rivage Resort. It's going to be a wonderful event. We're going to showcase the, the culture and the diversity and the depth of our great state. And uh, we're going to do a little business too and develop some real relationships.